according to some brand new rumors from a person that was way ahead of everybody else when it came to Disney and Sony working out a deal on Spider-Man, apparently things behind the scenes are changing and Disney is looking to possibly buy Spider-Man for $5 billion. So let's get into this. So first up, full disclosure, I do not know the person who is providing the scoop. I do not personally know him. I have never actually talked to him, but a lot of people have posted in our comments and messaged me saying to talk about this because he was right on the fact that Disney and Sony would be able to work out a deal. So this comes from Mikey Sutton. Hopefully I said that last name right, but knowing my track record, probably not. Anyways, more or less to just break it down what you're seeing on here, apparently the talks are ongoing, there's still a possibility of a buyout, and Disney might be doing it for upwards of $5 billion. And in there, obviously it says with Captain America and Iron Man gone, you know, what else do they have as big hitters? So let's go over all this. Like I said, I don't know the guy. I've never talked to him. I'm pretty sure he's a nice guy. So yeah, um, you know, he was right on a few things. So let's go over this. As always, uh, take this as a rumor. You know, nobody's ever 100% correct. Nobody that scoops anything. So that's just kind of how it goes. Is this a possibility? As always, I think it is. I think it might be. I don't personally know. To me, I don't think there's enough value in Spider-Man to spend four to five billion dollars on that character alone. I mean, just so we're clear, Black Panther and Captain Marvel in their first ever films made more than Spider-Man did up until his most recent film. More profitable, more profit margins and everything. So spending that much money on Spider-Man just doesn't seem right it's just one character right like why would that be a thing that they push through with and at the same time the marvel cinematic universe is literally built off the back of taking characters that weren't that familiar and making them household names the guardians of the galaxy ant-man captain marvel black panther Iron Man, Captain America, Marvel's Thor, right? So if you see the pattern here, and just for more evidence, when you look at all the profits, every single Spider-Man movie combined, after you take away the production cost, the marketing and everything, their profits don't even reach a billion dollars. So in almost 20 years of live action Spider-Man films, they've never made close to a billion dollars in profits. Why would Disney want to spend four to five billion dollars on one character when they spent four billion on marvel and lucasfilm with star wars and they can make all that back and have easier than they ever could with spider-man right because there's no way that spider mans somehow gonna you know jump forward and be a five billion dollar film right so to me it's a little shaky i don't know if this is true or not i personally don't believe it because i don't see value in it that's, if I was Disney, that's exactly how I would perceive it as well. Now, there is also a chance that maybe they're trying to work out some sort of partnership deal, maybe, where, you know, Disney maybe has more of a hand in it, or they co-own him. I could see that happening to some degree, where they're like, look, Spider-Man, we keep him indefinitely in the MCU, Tom Holland's version, you guys do what you will, and you have your own, and we'll co own the rights. We'll buy half of them back or something, you know, split character rights. Again, that's happened before. That's happened with characters stuck in, you know, in this weird gray line that's kind of been there with like Fox and Universal. So that is possible. But again, I'm not willing to guarantee anything just because when I crunch the numbers quickly, just the profits aren't there to warrant a $4 billion purchase of one character and his villains when there's a very good chance in the next five years Sony's going to be sold off and they're just going to regain them for free. Again, that's just my perception. 